In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your low resolution video or photo clip from this to this, giving it that nice 4K HDR with great color correction feel. So the first thing you want to do is import your video or photo. And then once you've done that, we're going to drag it onto the timeline. Once you've done that, we're going to look to the right side and we're going to go to adjustment and you want to go from basic to curves. And then for Luma, we're going to be dragging this one side all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to drag this other side all the way up to the top. Now you want to repeat this step for red, green, and blue as well. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now, once you've done that, we're going to be going to effects in the top top left corner and then we're going to select lens in the left sidebar and we're going to be looking for blur so we're going to scroll down a little bit until we find blur which it's right here so i'm going to add that to our timeline now and we're going to scroll it all the way across this entire video or photo clip so once you've done that we're going to select blur and then we're going to turn blur all the way up to 100. so once your video or photo looks like this we're going to be exporting it in 4k so let's go to export in the top right corner. From here, we're going to name it 4K. And you want to make sure your resolution's on 4K, bitrate on higher. And we're going to render this out. Be sure to change your frame rate to the correct one. So we're going to press export. And once this is finished, we can back out. Now we're going to be pressing Control Z to undo what we've done until we're back at the original. Now you can also just delete everything like I just did and go back to import in the top left corner and drag your original video back down. So you're probably wondering, well, why did we do all that stuff if we're just going to delete it? Because we're now going to be adding it to our timeline. So let's now go back to import and we're going to be looking for that 4K video that we named it. So here it is. I'm going to open it up. Then we're going to drag it onto our timeline. So once you've done that, we're going to select this layer and then we're going to go to video. And from here, we're going to scroll down to where blend is and under mode, we're going to change this to color burn. Then once you've done that, we're going to adjust the color burn to 60%. So go ahead and bring it right down to right around 60. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then once you've done that, we're going to go back up to import and we're going to select stock materials and we're going to add a white layer. So let's go ahead and add that to our timeline. And we're going to make sure it matches the other video length as well or photo. And then once you're happy with it, we're now going to go up to video and we're going to go to basic and we're going to go to blend mode again and we're going to change it from D default and we're going to change it to overlay. So once you've changed it to overlay, we're going to be setting it to right around 70%. So go ahead and do that. Now we're going to select our first layer and adjust the color. So select your first layer. Then we're going to go to adjustment and we're going to go to basic. And the first thing we're going to be changing is the saturation. So I'm going to increase this to around 20. And when it comes to the next thing we're going to be changing, it's going to be exposure. I'm going to put this up to eight or nine. Let's go with nine. As far as contrast goes, we're going to reduce this a little bit. I'm going to go to right around minus six or so. And once that's done, I'm going to be doing highlight next. So let's look for highlight. And we're going to be putting this up to around plus 12 area. Next, we're going to change the sharpen. So it's pretty blurry right now. So let's look for sharpen and increase this. This is going to be personal preference and it will depend on your video or photo clip. So you're going to have to adjust these a little bit. I wouldn't follow these step by step. Just try adjusting the sliders. If it looks like there's too much color, decrease the saturation. If it's looking a little bit too sharp, decrease it. If it's looking like, you know, there's not enough, you can always increase it. This is what looks good for this one though. You can see what it was originally versus what it is now. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.